Good evening, I'm Assistant Chief Weather Forecaster Oliver Moster here with a look at the week ahead. Starting off with those current temperatures, we were sitting a little bit warm today, but we are definitely cooling down. 72 degrees in Muncie, 79 degrees in Indianapolis, and through the 80s and the 70s throughout most of the state. Looking at that current radar, we are seeing some of those clouds that we had through most of the day clear out and is going to leave tonight's sky being mostly clear. Low of 58 degrees and winds coming from the southeast around 5 miles per hour. Now those clouds are going to gather back up up as we move throughout tomorrow in front of a front that will be bringing some precipitation into our area. So as we move throughout the day, 60 there at 8 a.m., move it up into the upper 70s as you get into the later afternoon hours, and we are expecting to see that rain come into the area in those early afternoon hours especially as we move into the evening. Now timing all that out on precision cast, can we start to see those clouds build up in the earlier morning hours of Tuesday? And then in the afternoon hours, we do start to see some more of those widespread showers, maybe even seeing some pockety storms as we go through Tuesday night as well. Moving into Wednesday morning and Wednesday, we're expecting some light rain throughout most of the day, as well as some pockety uh, storms, thunderstorms. We could be seeing those. We are under a marginal risk from the Storm Prediction Center, so look out for those rumbles of thunders and some higher gusts of wind. And we do need that rain. We're currently sitting about two inches below what we normally see at this time of year accumulatively for precipitation for this month. This is the fifth driest September on record, and it seems that Mother Nature is just dumping all the rain right here at the end of the month. Now, this most likely won't get us too much drier, but hopefully it will get us out of the moderate drought that most of the north western parts of our viewing area are in, including most of Delaware County, Blackford County, Madison County there as well. So again, hopefully we won't be seeing a washout, but we will most likely be seeing something to bring us out of this drought, maybe even make us less abnormally dry. But something else that the drought is affecting is the leaves colors changing. Now, the first day of fall officially was on Saturday, and we have started to see some yellows and oranges around here on campus. Now, normally we see those in mid-October, moving into early November, but we could be seeing that accelerated because of these dry conditions that we've had through most of September. So I would expect mid-October to be where the peak of our leaves uh, foliage changing to happen. Expect some vibrant reds and some oranges around campus uh, as we move throughout the entire month of October. And because of these dry conditions, that means the leaves will fall faster as well. So I wouldn't be surprised if we did see some leaf raking conditions happen on campus here pretty soon. The only thing else that's falling are these temperatures with this 73 degree high there on Wednesday. Again, chance of storms throughout most of the area, but we will be seeing rain that day. Increasing temperatures back into the 80s as we move into the weekend under very sunny conditions. You can follow us on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram at NLI Weather for more weather updates. I've been Assistant Chief Weather Forecaster Oliver Moster wishing you a great night and an even better week.